In this video, I will show you the construction and logical operation of two input CMOS NAND gate. Before going to the logical operation and construction of the NAND gate, let me talk about the on and off states of TMOS and NMOS. A P type MOSFET. will be in on state if I apply a negative gate to source voltage whose magnitude will be greater than than the negative threshold voltage that means if I apply a gate to source voltage more negative than the negative threshold voltage our p-type MOSFET will be in on state here in case of CMOS NAND gates, I will apply a negative voltage minus VDD to specify a higher negative voltage than this negative threshold voltage. In that case, our P-type MOSFET will be in on state. Otherwise, P-type MOSFET will be in off state. In case of a in general MOSFET it will be in on state when we will apply a gate to source voltage higher than positive threshold voltage to specify that voltage gate to source voltage I will apply a voltage plus V D D in that case our in general MOSFET will be in on state and when P type MOSFET or N-type MOSFET will be in on state, they will act as a closed switch. And when they will be in off state, during off state, they will be acting as open switch. Now see, in case of CMOS logic, we will have both P-type MOSFET and N-type MOSFET. And P-type MOSFET will be turned on when we will apply a voltage minus VDD. And N-type MOSFET will be turned on when we will apply a voltage plus VDD. That means in case of CMOS logic circuits, we will have two voltage levels. One is minus VDD, another is plus VDD. Now, to specify logic zero, in case of CMOS NAND gate, we will apply a voltage minus VDD. And to specify logic one, in case of CMOS logic circuit, we will apply a voltage plus VDD. Okay. And when we will apply minus VDD, our PMOS will be in on state. Otherwise, PMOS will be in off state. And when we will apply logic one or plus VDD, our NMOS will be in on state. Otherwise, N type MOSFET will be in off state. And during on state, MOSFETs will be acting as closed switch. And during off state, they will be acting as open switch. This is the circuit structure of CMOS NAND gate using three terminal MOSFET symbol. And this is the circuit structure of CMOS NAND gate using four terminal MOSFET symbol. The transistor Q1 and the transistor Q2 will be P-type enhancement MOSFET. And the transistor Q3 and Q4 will be n-type enhancement MOSFET. In this video, I will show you the analysis of the circuit using the CMOS NAND gate, which is constructed by using four terminal MOSFET symbol. And I will show you the simulation of CMOS NAND gate using the circuit, which is constructed by using three terminal MOSFET symbol. 
okay now see the transistor q1 and q2 you will see the source terminal of the transistor q1 and q2 are connected together and that is connected to the supply voltage vdd see this is the source terminal and this is the source terminal they are connected to this common point and that is connected to the positive terminal of bias voltage vdd okay now see look at the drain terminal of the transistor q1 q2 and q3 they are connected together drain terminal of q1 q2 and q3 they are connected together and we are taking the output voltage from this common point and the source terminal of the transistor q3 is connected to the drain terminal of q4 source terminal of q3 is connected to the drain terminal of q4 and the source terminal of q4 is connected to ground terminal now see we connect the gate terminal of transistor q1 and q3 together and we are applying logic a at that common point okay see this is the gate terminal of q1 and this is the gate terminal of q3 we are applying logic a here and we connect the gate terminal of q2 and q4 together and we are applying logic b here see this is the gate terminal of q2 and this is the gate terminal of q4 we are applying logic b here now see to specify logic zero here we will apply negative bias voltage minus vd d and to specify logic one we will apply plus v d d and in case of pmos logic it will be in on state when we will apply minus v d d or logic zero at the gate terminal otherwise it will be in off state and in case of nmos logic in case of n type mosfet it will be in on state when we will apply plus v d d or logic one at the gate terminal otherwise it will be in off state see here the mosfets q1 q2 q3 and q4 can be compared with a ideal switch therefore i can replace each of the transistor with a switch and form a switching network like this this switch will indicate q1 this switch will indicate q2 this will q3 and this will be q4 depending on the application of gate voltage they will be either in off state or on state when they will be in on state i will simply just close down this switch or when they will be in off state i will simply replace them with open circuit like this okay now consider the first case when a will be at logic zero and b will be at logic zero a is at logic zero that means i will have a voltage source minus vdd or i will have a voltage source vdd whose negative terminal will be connected at a terminal and positive terminal at ground terminal this will cause to apply logic zero at the a terminal and i will have a negative voltage vdd at the input b terminal okay now see we are applying negative voltage at the gate terminal of the transistor q1 through this a to ground terminal so our transistor q1 will be on state we are applying negative voltage at the input b terminal this will put the p type transistor or p type mosfet q2 in on state we are applying negative voltage at the n mos q3 so it will be in off state and the transistor q4 will also be in off state because we are applying negative voltage at the gate terminal of it so here the transistor q1 and q2 will be in on state and q3 and q4 will be in off state okay so our transistor q1 is in on state q2 is in on state but q3 and q4 are in off state as the transistor q3 and q4 are in off state therefore they will be acting like open circuit or open switch okay so i can just simply put them like this as the transistor q1 and q2 are in on state so i will simply close this switch and this switch or they will be acting like short circuits okay now see as this portion is left open therefore the current flow through this path i will be equal to zero 
as the current through this path will be equal to zero there will be no voltage drop between this terminal to this ground terminal we are applying plus vdd here due to this short circuit we will get vo equal to plus vdd between output to ground terminal so for input 00 our output will be at logic 1 okay consider the second case when a will be at logic 0 and b will be at logic 1 that means i will apply minus vdd at the input a terminal i will have a voltage source vdd whose negative terminal will be connected at the input a terminal and positive terminal will be grounded i will have another voltage source whose positive terminal will be at input b terminal and negative terminal will be connected to ground terminal as we are applying negative voltage at the gate terminal of transistor q1 it will be known as state as we are applying positive voltage at the gate terminal of transistor q2 it will be in off state we are applying negative voltage at the gate terminal of transistor q3 which is a n type mosfet so it will be in off state we are applying positive voltage at the gate of q4 as it is a n type mosfet it will be in on state so here for logic 0 1 q1 and q4 will be in on state but q2 and q3 will be in off state for 0 1 q1 and q4 will be in on state and q2 q3 will be in off state so i can replace the transistor q1 with a short circuit or closed switch q2 with an open switch or open circuit q3 with an open switch or open circuit and q4 with a closed switch or short circuit now see this portion of the circuit is left open so th current flow through this path will be equal to zero as current flow through this path will be equal to zero you will see from this point to this point i will have a short circuit and between the output to ground terminal this vdd will be appeared as output is equal to vdd for input 0 1 our output will be at logic 1 now consider the third case when a will be at logic 1 and b will be at logic 0 a will be at logic 1 that means i will apply plus vdd voltage at the input a terminal b will be at logic 0 that means i will apply minus vdd at the input b terminal as we are applying positive voltage at the gate terminal of transistor q1 it is a p-type mosfet so it will be in off state we are applying a negative voltage at the input of transistor q2 as this is a p-type mosfet it will be in on state we are applying a positive voltage at the gate terminal of transistor q3 this is a n-type mosfet so the transistor q3 will be in on state but the transistor q4 will be in off state because it is getting a negative voltage at the gate terminal of it so for input 1 0 q1 and q4 will be in off state but q2 and q3 will be in on state for 1 0 q1 and q4 will be in off state so i can replace them with open switch or open circuit q2 and q3 are in on state so i can replace them with short circuit or closed switch current flow through this path is equal to zero therefore the voltage drop between this terminal to ground terminal or output terminal to ground terminal will be equal to zero this will put output voltage equal to plus vdd because from this terminal to this terminal i have a short circuit in the short circuit there are, will be no voltage drop so the applied voltage between this terminal to ground terminal will be appeared between this terminal to ground terminal okay so for input 10 our output is at logic 1 
consider the last case when a will be at logic 1 and b will be at a logic 1 a will be at logic 1 that means i will apply plus vdd between a to ground terminal b will be at logic 1 that means i will apply plus vdd between b to ground terminal okay as we are applying positive voltage at the gate terminal of q1 and q2 you will see both of the transistors will be in off state because they are p-type MOSFET and the transistor q3 and q4 will be in on state due to the application of positive gate voltage so if we look at the truth table we will see this is one this is one so our q1 and q2 will be in off state but q3 and q4 will be in on state q1 and q2 are in off state that means i can replace them with open circuit or open switch okay q3 and q4 are in on state so i can replace them with closed switch or short circuit see from this terminal to ground terminal i have a total or entire short circuit and in a short circuit whatever the current flow as the resistance in this path will be equal to zero therefore ir voltage drop v equal to ir will be equal to zero volt because resistance is zero in case of short circuit so our output will be zero volt or for one one our output will be at logic zero and this is the truth table of CMOS NAND gate with its switching states okay see this is the CMOS NAND gate in the simulator this is a p-type MOSFET this is a p-type MOSFET they are drain terminals and the drain terminal of Q3 are connected together and we are taking the output from this terminal the circle here will indicate the logic zero the circle here will indicate logic zero and a line like this will indicate logic one so at first i will consider logic zero zero see zero zero inputs are at logic zero so you will see our output will be at five volt or logic one for zero one for zero one our output will be at 5 volt or logic 1 for 1 0 our output will be at logic 1 because output voltage will be 5 volt but for 1 1 output will be 0 volt or at logic 0 okay that's it thank you